Howdy everybody, what is up? My name is Jason and today I'm going to be showing you how to create some cool flat image designs like the one you see right here on this website. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a circle. So we're going to create a new layer and we're going to use our marquee tool. Whoops, let's make sure we're on the elliptical marquee tool. And we're going to create a perfect circle by holding down shift on the keyboard. And we're going to fill that in with a blue. About there is good. Fill that in. And then we're going to come up to our hue and saturations and we're going to bring down the saturation on this blue just a little bit. Maybe bring down the darkness. Nah, let's leave it at zero. All right, cool. Let's merge those two layers together now. And then we're going to add a new layer. Next, what we'll do is we're going to create a new circle with our marquee tool about that size. And we're going to fill it in with a pink color. Somewhere around there. And then coming back to our marquee tool, we're going to grab our selection and we're going to move it over like this. And then we're going to go control shift I to invert the selection and then we'll hit delete and that will delete everything else. Now we're going to take our rectangular marquee tool and we're going to cut away the bottom of our shape like that. So now we got kind of a little shape that looks like a rocket. Now let's create a new layer and using our marquee, elliptical marquee tool, we're going to create a little circle that will be our window. We're going to fill that in with a light cream color, peach color sort of, like so. And then we're going to select that shape and create a new layer and fill that in with a dark grayish blue, like so. Then let's shrink that down. Whoops. Let's shrink that down using our transform tool, which is control T or command T on a Mac. We'll just get that centered in there. Then let's merge those two layers. Then we're gonna use our move tool and it should snap right into the center of our rocket. Now let's create a new layer. And on this layer, we're going to create our rocket fin. So let's make a circle and let's fill that in with our cream color. And then using our marquee tool, we'll just grab and drag down like so. Hit delete. And then we can delete away this area right here, about half of our crescent shape. Then let's move that into place and we're probably gonna shrink it down to about there. And let's drag him underneath all of our layers. And we'll nudge him into place. Now let's copy that guy, paste him, and then using our transform tool, we're going to come down to our vertical or our horizontal flip. And I just right click on my transform shape and come down to horizontal, and that's, that's all you have to do. Hit enter, place him. Now we'll create a new layer above our rocket shape. And still using our cream color, we're going to. Oops, let's come over to our elliptical marquee tool and we're going to create a very skinny oval. And we want it to line up with the tops and bottoms of our fin. And we'll fill that in with our cream color. And then using our grab and move tool, we're going to make sure that that's centered with our window. Awesome. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to give it some exhaust coming out of the back of it so it looks like it's taking off. So we're going to create a new layer underneath all of these layers and using our lasso tool, we're going to create our shape just like so. And then we're going to use a darker blue color, maybe a little bit lighter. And then we'll fill that in. Then let's grab the color white, or just about white. And using our brush tool with a hard edge. So we're just going to create these straight lines down and across our exhaust, just like so. 
and I'm just clicking at one point holding down shift and then clicking at a second point to create these straight lines whoops I don't like that guy all right looks good now the last thing we want to do is let's add some clouds here at the bottom of our exhaust so we'll create a new layer and still using our brush tool we're just going to create a cloud shape just by tapping around with our circles and that will kind of create the look of clouds now let's merge all these layers together except for our blue circle so now that's all one piece now let's select the shape of our blue circle and then we're going to invert the selection and being on our rocket layer we're going to hit delete and that will delete all of the clouds outside of that circle now it's left a little bit of a blue ring down there so I'm just gonna use my move tool and I'm just gonna nudge it down over that now this isn't really standing out enough for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my rocket and I'm gonna come up to the hue and saturation and I'm gonna turn up the saturation just a little bit about there let's see what it looks like if we take the darkness down like this yeah I'm gonna take it up to about 10 alright cool so now that's standing out more and there it is that's how you can create a really quick fast flat design in Photoshop I hope you guys liked this video if you did go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and I'll be bringing you many more videos just like this one my name's Jason and thanks for watching